On today's video, I assemble a 16 inch boys Schwinn bike. Hello everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Dad's Life Projects. Today, I'm putting together a boys 16 inch Schwinn bike for my son. Let me do that. This is it right here. So, let's get going. All right, this one is for my son. This is this one's a Schwinn. The last one was a Huffy. I'm hoping this one is a little better quality since the other one, the chain guard was broken, but that could just be shipping. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and open it up. This one comes with a, a handbrake. Great. More, more fun. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Let's bring this out a little bit. I'll put that here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Please. And the seat and number plate. Nice. Pull this up here. Let's start to build this. Loosen this up. I'll just do it a little tight so it'll hold it in, in place while I do the rest here. Handlebars on. Trash. There's the line to put it up to. Let's go ahead and get this a little tighter.
All right, let's go ahead and put the tire on. I'm gonna take this off to make it just easier to get the tire in there. Let's go ahead and put this other brake pad on there. Back on. I'm gonna have to move that over a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up a little bit and I'm going to position this so it's in the middle. This pad is up too high. Let's go ahead and position the pad. This side. What you want to do? I'll move it up. Maybe like that. Just. There we go. I think like that. I think. Probably need more position later on. It's been a very long time since I've done bicycles, especially one with a handbrake in the front of all places. I don't, I think it probably would have been a much better place to put it in the back, because we're gonna find out real soon. All right. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna show real quick these. And you can do it on the one side since my kids are too big for it. For training wheels. Basically, all you do is taking this off. And then that, like this maybe. Oh, maybe? Yes, you put it, and then you, you put it on like this. You put this here. Then you would just tighten this up. And you can, you can either way, however you want to do it, just tighten it up. And that's how you would put training wheels on either one of these bikes. They're basically the same thing. So, since I'm not going to do that, I can take this off. Take this off, this off. Take these, which I'm, I'm no use for. Kids are big kids. They don't need that. Take the other side off. Throw those in there. Okay. I'm going to say that one of the last things to put on there are the pedals.
think that's it for this one. Again, I don't understand why they don't put kickstands on these. More likely I'll have to adjust some of the stuff on here on both these bikes. But basically that's it. And I do have to air up the tires. Sorry that is not everything. I forgot to put on the number plate on my son's bike. Here it is. Let's see if I can do this without making it. Okay, now it's done. There it is. Woohoo! Nice. Thank you. That's going to do it for today's project. If you like any of the products used today, the links to the products are down below. If you like this video or any of my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Dad Life Projects or email me at dadlifeprojects at gmail.com. Remember, for any project you do, you are the project manager. See you next time.